a very warm welcome to everyone, and I'm glad you found your way. A special welcome to Edward O'Donoghue, who is the Parliamentary Secretary for Transport. And all I can say about Edward is he's a good friend of the VTA and a good friend of the transport industry. And I think in a, few, in a few years to come, you'll see Edward come right through the ranks and maybe a, a future Premier. So how's that for putting a stamp on him? Today, we had over 150 people uh, invited to today's presentation and launch, and it is a very special launch. Congratulations to Sam Pantu, who's the Director of Mol Metropolitan Express. And I did miss, uh, he's got his lovely family here today, so if you gentlemen have seen these two, three lovely ladies over here. And I haven't seen Tony Van Coolen. Is Tony here yet? Oh, welcome, Tony, too, Director of Metropolitan Express. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is innovation, it's productivity, it's image, it's safety, and it's all built into one. And so, firstly, without further ado, I don't want to talk too long, we've got uh, about six or seven speakers and, and, a, and a walking demonstration launch of the trailer. The first uh, gentleman I'd like to introduce is Ross Pilkington, and he's uh, a Director of Manufacturing, Logistics and Agriculture in WorkSafe Victoria. Look, it's a really sad day. Um, and yet we're here to do such a fantastic thing, which is to talk about safety innovation. And yet last night a person died at work when he was run over by a roller. This morning a chap went missing in a sewerage pond. Another person's fighting for his life in, East, in North Laverton and as he was hit by a leveller, a dock leveller. And another young man, a 30-year-old man, has fallen 40, four metres onto concrete and is currently fighting for his life in Camberfield. And that's why we're here. Not for those four people those, and those families which are affected, but because of industries and people who want to make things safe rather than waiting for a regulator to come and knock on your door. And I want to commend the industry. I want to commend the company who's doing this, the people who are manufacturing it. Because you're doing this without the behest of the government, without the behest of me or an inspector, but to make things safe before somebody's hurt. That key message of prevention rings home to us all. And our ads that we send out to TV this week again will do homecomings again. We don't go to work to be heard at work. We go to work so we can go home safely to our loved ones and our families. The key message here today is prevention is worth a pound of cure. Being able to plan and to see a solution in your head, take that through to, to the fruition of a fantastic manual solution here today. I congratulate everybody that was involved in it and I wish you all well into the future. Thank you. Thanks Ross and as you heard Ross lives in, lives in a world of accidents and, and tragedy so I'm sure he's really thrilled to see something positive today. And, and Ross is a member of the Transport Industry Safety Group. We've got two or three members of the Transport Industry Safety Group here today and we Meet, we've got a meeting uh, next Tuesday at the Victorian Transport Association offices to talk about all the deaths and injury and how we can prevent them. So our message is that they never happen again. We learn from them. And that's been a very successful group for about 15 years. All right, our next, next speaker is Ingleby Dixon, General Manager Supply Chain and Logistics Blue Scope Steel. Now Ingleby, I don't know Chris Fox. Is Chris Fox here yet? So Ingleby, you're a one-man band. So welcome up. And Ingleby, I might say while he's walking up, is a great supporter of the industry. He's, one of we, he's what we classify as a customer. And he, uh, Blue Scope Steel, is going through a very difficult time um, financially and on the world markets. But they still put safety as number one in their organisation. And, and it's led by this gentleman here. So welcome, Ingleby. So thanks, Phil, and uh, it is, a, uh, it is a, a great opportunity to be here today and to, uh, to unveil this fantastic unit. Uh, on behalf of my, friend, my colleagues, uh, uh, Chris Fox and his team at One Steel, and, uh, and my colleagues here at Blue Scope, a number of them here today, uh, I guess down the banner, the banner on the end of the, of the trailer says it all, uh, safety is number, is number one. And we have a culture and a set of behaviours in our organisation that means whatever we do, as long as it's safe, we do it. If it, if it's, if it ain't safe, don't do it. And it's, uh, it's got to be led from the heart. Um, it's something we've just got to do right, we've got to do well. Um, in our organisation, uh, back in 2004, um, a Manway driver in Adelaide uh, fell off the back of uh, a truck out of our Wingfield plant and <clears throat> broke both wrists, had quite a serious, serious shoulder, issue, shoulder injury, 
uh, that gentleman, that driver, has still not returned to work today. Uh, so we made a call at that time that working at heights on the back of trailers, we're just not going to do it. We're just going to get out of it. We're going to make sure that we've got the capability uh, within, our, within our relationship with our contractors to ensure that drivers do not need to get on the back of a truck unless they have a fall prevention uh, mechanism, uh, restraint system, some ability so they can't fall. Now we know we've still got some places to go, but we've, we've made a huge significant change. And it's wonderful to see here uh, Sam and the Metro team, Tony and the Metro team, to take the step forward that they have here. We had a wonderful relationship at Blue Scope Distribution. And I must acknowledge uh, Jason McCallum and his team and Rod and a few others who have worked with Sam very closely to make sure that their relationship has increased the bar of the safety performance of uh, Sam and his team while they're working with us and hopefully across all of their other customers and their relationships uh, externally. And they have. And today is just another step forward where they've taken the initiative, which we're, we're fabulous to support um, and help promote it and ensure that, again, uh, drivers, operators, the relationship that takes place with Metro, we see as uh, just absolutely first class. All it's going to do is make sure that our relationship continues because we see safety as absolutely priority to ensure that our steel products are uh, delivered effectively on time um, around this state in particular and beat those, uh, those importers who have given us a hard time at the moment. So um, please, uh, and look, I guess great acknowledgement also to uh, the various other parties who have helped out here, um, Vaudrey's who do use Australian Steel, which is great to see, Safety Assist and a number of other organisations that have uh, made all this come together. So we are great supporters. We feel this is just another fantastic step for the industry to take a step forward. This is a non-competing issue. Uh, we see uh, what Metro have done should be uh, uh, copied, Sam, I presume, copied uh, carefully, um, but I'm sure Vaudrey and Sam will make sure that happens on a commercial basis, but there's a great yard that's been uh, moved forward here, a great bar has been lifted to ensure that all those drivers who work in and off these type of trailers are absolutely safe. So, well done, Fan fantastic, fantastic support from uh, steel, the steel uh, industry. <clears throat> Thanks, Ingleby, well done. Now I'd like to introduce uh, Sam Pantow, Director of Metropolitan Express, and I, I have uh, 700 member companies, and I don't think I, in my 25 years at the VTA, I've met someone so passionate as Sam. And he came in to see me about two months ago, three months ago, to say, will you help me do this launch? And Kerry and Lucille are here today from my office. I think that they're also shocked at the drive this bloke's got. He absolutely gave it to us about helping him and we, he was passionate and that's why we're here. So welcome, Sam. Thanks, Phil. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you to everyone for your attendance and making the time available in your busy schedules. Also a special thanks to all of you that have flown in from other states to be a part of this monumental day. For those of you who don't know Metropolitan Express, we are a developing transport business and we have chosen to participate in one of the more difficult sectors of the industry, supplying transport services to the steel and construction industries. Difficult because most of the product being carried is unforgiving if not restrained correctly. We deliver to an assortment of delivery sites, a majority of which are unmanned, and like all other transport companies, in all types of weather. The contracts we have for the supply of distribution service co services contain strong focus on safety and innovation. We see safety and innovation as one of our greatest challenges and one of our greatest opportunities. Metropolitan Express recognises this challenge and to this end has investi invested significantly in these areas over the past decade. The Metropolitan Express management team recognises the importance of both these activities to our workforce, to our customers, to the industry and to the wider community. The management team drives the safety message with passion. A word for those who know me, I hardly ever use. We believe safety needs to be driven from the top of any organisation. Safety at Metropolitan Express is our number one priority. Safety needs to become a part of the culture of an organisation for it to become effective and in the end it results in positive outcomes. Innovation for Metropolitan Express is a culmination of ideas. The trailer which is on display is fitted with the ideas that have come from our workforce, our customers, 
our suppliers and other sectors of the industry. The fall prevention safety system is a culmination of ideas to provide a mobile working at height solution for the transport industry. The distribution sites of all of our customers have loading platforms or loading docks or other facilities to ensure the falling from heights danger is minimised. Metropolitan Express in all our SOPs bans drivers from accessing the top of their trays bodies for a number of functions that include restraining or tarping of loads. The problem facing the industry is many drivers have a want to access their vehicle to perform certain tasks, especially when they are unsupervised. FPSS will reduce the number of injuries and possible deaths within our industry when loading platforms and other devices are not available or practical. I would like to thank all the parties that have been involved in enabling Metropolitan Express to present the FPSS today and you will find most of their company logos proudly displayed on the tailboard of the trailer. I would also like to take this opportunity to recognise the support and contribution of the Steel Transport Safety Network in particular Jason McCallum and Rod Foster from Bluescape Steel and Steve McIntyre and Paul Driver from One Steel. However, their contribution doesn't end here. The trailer on display will commence working with both these organisations and we will all be able to share in the information gathered along with the practical benefits it delivers in a real working environment. Vaudry partnered with Metropolitan Express to bring the FPSS to life from an animated concept on a computer screen some 18 months ago uh, to the trailer that's on display today. Vaudry via Justin Simmons, Mick and Paul Vaudry and their staff have made it happen. The displayed unit is not restricted for use on a semi-trailer setup. It is actually seen to have a wider application to the majority of the rigid tray and taut liner vehicles that are so prevalent on our roads. Once again, on behalf of Tony Van Corlin, myself and our management team, we thank everyone for attending and I hope what you will sh shortly witness will assist you in your own businesses. Well, okay. Sam rang me in about a month ago, six weeks ago, and said, come out and have a look at the trailer. We've, we've got it half built. So I went out to Vaudry's and we couldn't find it. It had moved somewhere. And then they found it all I all I could see was one side of a, of a, a, I don't know what it was, it wasn't a trailer at that stage, so within about six weeks that's what has ended up. What a magnificent effort from Vaudry's to put that together and, and looking so professional, so well done Vaudry's. So out of Vaudry's is uh, Justin Simmons who's a national sales manager and Justin's obviously uh, been fully involved in this uh, design and development, so Justin you might like to come forward and say a few words about it. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for uh, coming here today to witness this special occasion. We, uh, I suppose that uh, Vaudry, we are the largest privately owned all Australian road transport manufacturer <coughs> in Australia. We've been manufacturing for over 37 years, currently employ in excess of about 250 people Australia wide and have sales, service, parts facilities in Victoria, New South Wales, Queensland South Australia and WA. Vaudry are recognised in the transport industry as an industry leader who pride themselves working with their customers to develop productivity gains, profitability, reliability and safety initiatives. Initially when Metropolitan Express engaged Vaudry to work with them to develop a full prevention device for road transport equipment, I thought they were a little bit extreme when it came to safety. As, um, Phil expressed before, Sam with his enthusiasm and passion, um, I hadn't really seen that before. So I admired Sam's passion and enthusiasm, always thinking outside the square. However, could only really appreciate his passion and enthusiasm when I personally attended the Blue Scope Steel Safety Awards uh, back in August this year. There was over 200 people in one room and they all shared the same passion and desire when it came to safety. Um, and at the end of the day I realised that safety certainly is a culture throughout the steel industry. Today is a huge milestone for the transportation of steel cartage throughout Australia with the release of the full prevention safety system trailer. Not only is Metropolitan Express invested in new technology but has incorporated all possible safety features which include full prevention, side underrun, EBS, soft docking, 
automated landing legs and tyre inflation systems. We cannot be here today without the assistance of key stakeholders, which include Blue Scope Steel, One Steel, ARC and WorkSafe for their continuous input throughout the process. Metropolitan Express has engaged these people over the past 18 months and as Sam indicated, from a, a 3D modelling concept to the various prototypes that we produced. So Baudry today are here proud to present the finished article. Thank you Mick and Paul for providing the resources to develop a fine example of transport safety. Thank you to the team at Vaudry, Alistair and Stephen Engineering, Damien Johnson and his crew who were instrumental in making it happen and uh, for being here today. They, they've been working around the clock. We had allowed about two weeks testing time and we had about two minutes. So uh, thank you guys. You, you've really put in and done, done us all proud. And finally, Vaudry are proud to be associated with Metropolitan Express and appreciate the opportunity to be part of your journey in the pursuit of transport safety excellence. Thank you. We're well ahead of schedule, which is good, and we're into now the practical uh, launch demonstration, if you like, of the trailer and all its features. And we've asked uh, Michael Neeler, who's the Managing Director of Safety Assist. Safety Assist was created out of a WorkSafe uh, VTA TW uh, joint venture on safety. And Michael is working now, that, that project's finished, and Michael's now working under the banner of Safety Assist. And we've asked him to do a practical run through on all the safety features. It, look, it's been said and said, if you, anyone who knows Sam Pantu, um, you know, even Tony, his partner, you talk about passion, this is a piece of equipment that is passion driven. Formerly, I used to be a truck driver. Some people used to say I used to work, some used to just turn up and get paid. But the problem with these, these vehicles is that you try and get up on them anywhere you can if you're a truck driver. And that's been an issue for employers, it's been an issue for, for customers as well, the Blue Scopes, the One Steels and the rest of it. And Blue Scope One Steel have taken a, an absolute open approach to say, no type of truck unless you're doing X, Y and Z. This truck limits where you can get up on the vehicle. It limits how you can get up on the vehicle. And when you do have to get up on the vehicle, it protects you from falling off. And as Ross said before, we've, we've had too many falls off the backs of trucks. They briefly mentioned the technology. It's, you'll see on the back wheels, it's got the automatic uh, air blowing up the tyres, so inflation of tyres, not a problem, it automatically does. And these are all optional extras, but why wouldn't you put this technology on? On the back of it, the soft docking system, when you back up, it, within about eight metres of the dock, it actually signify or signals the driver that you're coming up to the dock area. The other thing too with it, and this happened to me this morning as we were trying to get the truck in, uh, if there's a pedestrian or a forklift or some other piece of equipment rips around in front of it, it also will pick that up as well. So it sends an, an audible alarm to the driver. And on the back corners to see, you'll see a clear lens. That clear lens will actually flash, flash red. So the driver can actually see it in his mirrors, his or her mirrors, uh, as to how it's operating. Stability control, same deal from the load point of view. Okay? Drivers don't know the truck's actually going to tip over and use it until it's too long. There's been extensive work done by Vic Roads. That technology is on here, also fitted to the truck. When we get down to the actual practical application of, of the top of the vehicle, a rollover tarp that rolls both ways. So no more having to get up onto the vehicle, roll the tarp out manually, use a tarp spreader. It can all be done from the ground. So it allows overhead loading to occur. You can also be loaded from the side. Um, also weather protection for the product. And when the, the driver's up there, and this used to be me, uh, how do you put your chains on? It can all be done inside. The combing rail, which was traditionally on the outside along this bottom edge where the A-Union strip is, has been moved inside. And the positioning of it and the way it's designed allows the chains to be put on so as that they can't be put on the wrong way around, that the claws or hooks, whatever you want to call them, are positioned correctly. The robo racks that are inside, we can go and we can work around so they can put on the safety angles. So there's no need to actually try and stretch, throw, whatever it may be. But again, as I said in the initial part, you can't get up there until you've been through a process. You'll see here on the front, um, just uh, almost in line with the turntable, the step. The step can't be operated unless, it, again, there's a sequence that happens. Where the step's located, you'll also notice a clear panel. That clear panel allows the driver to actually have a look at the load and see whether or not it's shifted, moved or is there something else I need to do? So no more guesswork. There's an automated locking pin 
that once you release the set step, this is the only time it will be able to be released. Now just while Justin's there, you'll notice the step, and this is where Vaudrey's have been absolutely proactive. We went and had a look at the trailer a couple of weeks ago and said, look, one question was the step pad on the, on the step it needs to be 70 mil. Guess what? That step pad is 70 mil. So it actually complies with the hand. It doesn't have to on this thing. We've actually designed it so that now we don't have ankle roll and it can also maintain three points of contact. Whilst the step is in the out position, there's a little solenoid that, that automatically lock the brakes on. So you won't be able to drive off with the step uh, in the out position. Right, so it's becoming foolproof. <coughs> now you'll see here too with the position of the door and exclusion zones have also been a, an issue where the door locks into position it automatically creates an exclusion zone where the driver is work, working behind the door to operate the controls. How sexy is that? Right? How good is that? The position, you'll note, with the tarp too, it's also low enough because another issue with taut lines has always been the damage that's caused by forks and, and grains. The position, when it's in the lowered uh, spot, allows enough clearance for it to be loaded. If you're loading coils or loading top hats, they can be loaded quite easily without damaging the, uh, the side curtain. And you'll see too when that's down now, the loading process is occurring, I can't get on the truck. You'll note the, um, we were talking about the rollover tarp the, uh, on, on both sides, it's got catches, the, the U-shaped catches on this side are obviously to catch the tarp from either side. And you'll see on the front and rear of the trailer, uh, reversible operation so it can go both sides. How good is that? The other thing too is that when it's in operation you also see the lights on the trailer come on. So again, it, it sends an alert to people that there's something actually happening around that area. I guess the process initially is once you, you'll get up on top of the load, you've got the visual inspection through the door prior to entry, you get your three point contact entering the vehicle, you've got some scissor bows that you can remove, locate in the front wall. Once all that is complete you can then step down on the vehicle, fold the step away, drop down your side curtain and then you're safe to load. One of the other things with the design of the trailer, you'll notice down the back it's got the underrun protection along the side. These are areas where drivers would traditionally jump onto the, the rear hurdle of the trailer, swing themselves up onto the truck. It eliminates that issue, it pushes them to the front. You'll also notice toolboxes down there for dunnage. So where we've got ropes and, and chains that would traditionally be on the trade, they can now be stored in the, uh, the base of the trailer. What if the steel's a bit wider than the normal? Two? Over we Mark II. Mark II. Already being developed, a, a, a prototype will be built in the near future, and that'll allow for over with product. Now, has anyone got a question? I've got a roving mic here. Anyone like to ask a question? Is it a set height? As in the size of the, the trailer? Yes. Yes, it is, but if you talk to the manufacturer, they, in, if it was a specific, say your carton, a specific product that needed to be higher, then the trailer can obviously be made into a higher, higher frame. This one was specifically set up for the product they've been working with, with Blue Scope and One Steel, so traditional um, coils um, or top hats, the average top hat, but also uh, plate, mesh, probably 95% of the product that's actually being carted. Are you able to put two pallets next to each other? Um, without the side bins? Without, yeah. Beep into the answer. Yep, okay. <laughs> right. A lot of thoughts gone into it, and, and um, as Sam said before, it hasn't just, the concept's been 18 months, but in that 18 months it's been employees, it's been drivers, it's been the customers. Because not a problem if you go to a, a Blue Scope or a One Steel site, loading frames and all the rest of it. It's when you get out on the road. If I'm now going to a building site, how do I actually unload and unload safety? Um, now, um, the drivers can't actually physically fall off. And it actually puts in place controls for the people that are unloading as well. Now, now Justin, I would have liked to have seen the tarp come over, but you obviously had a problem. Uh, I mean, it's that new and it's that quick. 
How does it come over? Does it go over fast or...? We take uh, maybe about 30 seconds to uh, unravel. The beauty with this tarp though is that you can operate it from either side. If you're loading from the curbside one area but then you might go and unload and you won't have access to the curbside, you'll need to unload from the right hand side or driver side. So it gives you flexibility for both. And as was mentioned before, it's not just semi-trailer operation. Okay, rigid vehicles, quite easily same technology. No. Are there well, any I, questions at all? I guess having the, with all the, the curtain on the side, it certainly cleans up the industry. I know what it's like myself, driving next to a truck, you've got chains and dogs and lengths of steel and a, a friend of mine about 14 years ago lost half his face from a, a piece of steel that actually fell off the back of a truck, flicked up with the tyres and uh, and it's always a reminder and uh, you know, having the, the curtains on the side with the headboards front and rear, you really don't know what's inside. Look, I'd encourage you to walk around and have a look at this trailer, have a look at the technology. Talk to Sam, talk to Tony, talk to, the, to, the, to Justin. Um, the concept from 18 months ago to where it is today um, just shows the passion that is around in this industry and again I'll just see Tony and Sam there and they really ought to be congratulated along with Vaudrey's with the work they've done. What's this, uh, what's this area here? This is the, the exclusion zone, um, which we had a, a, a project we ran called Luwes, which was funded by WorkSafe. And it was about uh, pedestrian separation. And uh, the hats and cones were just a, a quick symbol to say, well, OK, if that area now is blocked off, then there should be either the forklift in there or the crane, whatever's loading, and not the driver. And this area back here, where I'm standing, the um, four with the little red lights, that would be the driver exclusion zone. So we're trying to minimise again that interaction. And, and if you take that principle and then move to the trailer, that's exactly what that trailer does. It separates the, the driver from the actual work activity. And we have Simon Skaslik here today. Yeah, Simon Skaslik's here. Simon's the National Compliance Manager from KNS. He drove the process with the, with the Lewis Price. And uh, uh, Paul Drive from One Store was another one that, that actually drove the process. And, and similar to the trailer, um, it's about the industry getting together and actually talking about the issues and, and sharing the technology and, and it, it does work. The trailer itself, when is it uh, due to or when is it going to go into operation? I would say that the unit's probably at least a week off from being operational. I'm sure that we've got a few little bugs to iron out uh, during the course of the next coming uh, months. But uh, I suppose it's the first of any kind. We've, uh, we've got it to where it is today and uh, we'll get certainly some driver feedback and hopefully we can only improve. So there we are, that's fantastic, isn't it? So it's my pleasure now to introduce Edward O'Donoghue, MLC, Parliamentary Secretary for Transport. Thanks very much, Phil. And uh, can I start by acknowledging uh, your leadership and the leadership of the VTA uh, in the transport industry? Uh, can I also acknowledge the previous speakers, uh, Ross Pilkington, Ingleby Dixon, Sam Pontu, uh, and Michael Neeler. Uh, and indeed, uh, this is a great coming together of various sectors of, of industry as a great example of uh, collaboration and productivity innovation uh, coming together. Uh, there are some that say that uh, increased productivity, and we all know that increased productivity is needed uh, in transport uh, because of the competitive pressures under which all of you in business operate under, that increased productivity uh, is a hindrance to improved safety. But here we have today a fantastic example of where uh, Sam and his team have gone out and come up with a fantastic solution to improve safety that at the same time will increase uh, productivity. So it's a win-win for everyone. And I congratulate uh, One Steel and Blue Scope for their willingness to partner uh, with Sam uh, and with Vaudrey uh, to have before us today uh, this fantastic uh, innovation. So it's my very great pleasure on behalf of uh, Minister Mulder, who sends his best wishes and uh, for today and for uh, your future success. It's my very best, uh, my, my very great pleasure on his behalf to formally uh, launch the fall prevention safety system and congratulate all those involved. Thank you. Look, that's basically it. Uh, we're very proud, uh, I, I say the VTA, but the industry is very proud for innovation like this. I'm sure when I rang Edward up and said, would you come and launch a trailer? He said, why would you want to launch a trailer? You know, they're all the bloody same. But out of today, there's no doubt he's, he will take back to the parliament and when he's talking in parliament about road safety and, and all uh, high productivity vehicles, he, he can speak now 
from the heart about what he's seen and what the industry's trying to do on a fair income basis to get to get safety, get real about safety. And so well done to Sam and, and his team uh, and Vaudrey for developing and launching a magnificent trailer. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming today. <laughs>